Today we'll be covering an ICO, but before I begin, I want to remind everyone that ICOs and any other form of startup investment are risky and to do your own research. The team of DNM has reached out to our team to do a sponsor video, but I still deserve the right to remain objective and unbiased to any coin analysis we feature in our broadcast. So let's begin. So what's up YouTubers? This is again a coin analysis and we're going to be talking about DNN, a decentralized news network. So DNN is a monetized news creation platform where individuals can consume news through a fact-based, peer-reviewed process using the blockchain technology. So what does that mean? So publishers will be able to create content that is fact-checked before it's published without the risk of a centralized source altering, removing the content offline. Journalists, critics, bloggers will not have to publish anything with the need to sponsor corporate agenda, rely on advertising revenue, and eliminating the individual bias and preserving the authenticity of the media-related content that hits the blockchain. So for the coin purpose, the DNN token is the core component on their platform. It is the primary instrument of value and it is used to carry out roles in their ecosystem. There are four roles in the network where the DNN tokens are earned or spent. So for the readers, they will pay DNN tokens to access, upvote, or comment on articles. They can also earn tokens by suggesting topics that will future get published. While writers earn DNN tokens when readers upvote content and for publishing articles on reader suggested topics. When an article is upvoted by readers, writers receive a portion of the tokens used. Writers then pay a small amount of those tokens to submit their articles for review. They earn points when an article is accepted and these points entitle them to tokens from the reward pool. Then we have reviewers. So when a reviewed article is upvoted by readers, reviewers receive a small portion of the tokens used. Reviewers bid DNN tokens to win the right to view articles. Reviewers can then earn points for reviewing articles and these points entitle them to weekly rewards. And lastly, publishers, they earn points by hosting nodes and these points entitle them to also tokens from their reward pool. So since they strive for transparency, you can actually see in their team, you can actually look at every single member in their profile. So we're gonna just talk a little bit about the CEO and the co-founder, the CTO. So the CEO, which is right here, Summit Singh, I hope I'm saying this right. He is the co-founder and CEO of DNN. He has over seven years of experience in startups and he's been working in DNN development for almost two years. Then we have Dundry Taylor, which is the co-founder and CTO of DNN. He has over 10 years experience in the IT field and as a software engineer, he has been involved in the blockchain for the past five years as a blockchain consultant and also as an engineer. You can go more in depth about their profiles. I personally really love when they all have LinkedIn's. This is actually great, by the way, this is, this is transparency. It's always good when every single one of their members, at least the really important ones, all have long extensive backgrounds and you can actually do a lot of research. You can see the companies that worked in, you can see how many certifications they have, and this is all great. We're gonna move on to their advisors and they have a great advisor team. I'm gonna stick with the two most pronounced advisors and I'm gonna start with Dario Aprile, which is the founder of Human Machine, which is a offer a product management and design services. He has been vice president of the global online publishing at National Geographic. That's amazing. For over three years and senior management and marketing at Fox Network Group for almost four years. He has over three decades of extensive experience in project development, branding, and global communication. And then we also have Rebecca Rachmini, which is CEO at Gangly's sister, and she is also founder of I Write ICO White Papers. She has been 
more than three decades of experience in management and mentorship, and she has just now embarked in training leaders entering into the crypto space. So we're going to take a look at their ICO structure and their coin distribution. So their, their pre-sale started on January 1st, and their ICO has already started since March 2nd. So their supply distribution, it's going to be 10% for founders, 11% of to DNN holding, which will be injected in their platform over time. So they will have 40% for the public sale, 20% for their pre-sale, 4% will be delegated to their writer accounts, which will be journalists, 1% will be delegated for their bounty program, and 14% will be for their advisors. So any unsold tokens will be transferred to the DNN holding. So the hard cap online, I found the information that is not actually based on a USD value, it's based on ETH value. So they're hoping to achieve 70,000 Ethereum, which right now is roughly about 30, between 30 and 35 million. So their circulating supply will be 600 million if their hard cap is reached with a total coin supply of 1 billion. So their ICO crowd sale price is one at about 3,000 DNN, which right now is about roughly 14, maybe 15 cents uh, per, per coin. So the bonuses for the pre-sale were in between 25 and 50% based in, I'm, I'm assuming volume of your purchase. And, and the ICO bonus will be will be different. So if you actually join in on their ICO before they achieve 15% of their sales, you will get a 20% bonus. So you will actually get 3,600 coins per Ethereum. So if it if you get in in between 16 and 43%, you'll get a 15% bonus. So the bonus are decreasing as they sell more and more coins. So there is a advantage to getting in early. So it, and and then if they reach around 100% of their between 44 to 100% of their sales, you will get only 10% bonus, which will give you about 3300 coins per ad. I actually think this is great because Ethereum right now is actually really low. So because it's linked with the cost of Ethereum, you're going to get a lot more coins for what you will normally get if it was at a high cost. So the restrictions are you need to get it white listed and USA is allowed. If you take a look at the DNN white paper, they have a segment where they list some of their competitors. This information was released on their white paper on May 2017. So some of these other ICOs or even projects haven't really surfaced. So I'm just gonna go down on the most pronounced ones. So we have Steemit, which is a social media platform where everyone gets paid for creating and curating content. I actually use their platform. I read a lot of articles and a lot of information from Steemit, but I do actually find a lot of issues there because since the information that they provide is not fact-checked, you end up sharing this content with others even though you don't know if it's accurate. So if you scroll down right here, you're gonna see Lunar, which is a decentralized platform that rewards contributors with tokens for reviewing and contributing information. Very different model. And then you have Scenario, which is allows users to monetize original content while rewarding followers when they share it with others. Very different than what the DNN is actually trying to achieve. So let's move on to their partners. They only have one partnership and they work with three different companies. These companies are actually known to facilitate businesses to get into the blockchain. So Smitten Crown is the world's leading blockchain research organization. And you have Isola's 1892, which is a leading international law firm based in Gibraltar. And their only partnership is Indoors, which is a great one, by the way. They reside in Singapore and they are a decentralized network for professionals where users oversee their own data. Let's take a look at their roadmap. So they've started in November 2016, and since then, they've met every single deadline and they've had, and we're actually on Q1 2018, which is they're actually hiring journalists, writers, editors, reviewers to be part of their alpha, which is actually amazing because they're actually already have the MVP, which is a minimum viable product, which sometimes people start into this crypto space with ICOs and they don't even have anything to show for it. So this is actually amazing. They even have 
a bug bounty program, which I'm going to show you to you guys right now. So their bounty program, it, it has so many different levels. So there's a list right here of all the little criteria that they have. They have alpha feedback reward 100 stakes. They have review article without staking tokens. They have subscribe to DNN YouTube town hall series. So they, they have a very extensive bounty program, which is which is actually good because that means that the alpha is being tested, which I would have loved to show to you guys, but I wasn't being I wasn't able to take part of their testing. So I browsed online looking for other ICO scores for DNN and I found ICO marks giving me 7.7 .7 out of 10 where team proof was a solid 10 score. An ICO bench gives them a 4.1 out of 5 while their ICO profile is a solid 5. So what do I actually think of DNN? So I'm going to list up a few pros. So it is a unusual yet much needed concept. It has a prototype. They are actually very active in social media, especially on Telegram with over 25,000 members. They already have a pre-ICO and ICO incentives. Now let's talk about their cons. I actually think their hard cap is too high. They have only one partnership. It's being the ICO, it's being done in a bear market. And I'm actually also very skeptic of how fast well, fact checking information will be done on a platform like DNN. Another aspect of this is how many reviewers will have to fact check the content before it's accurate, or how using tokens will slow down the way we consume news today. After filling out all the information I was able to acquire from, from their ICO, DNN came out with a score of 70% in our ICO score sheet, which is a very great sign. It matches with all the other reviews I'm finding online, which puts DNN at a very good score for a ICO. I personally haven't been invested in any ICOs in this bearish market, but I definitely plan to use their platform. I hope you guys like this coin analysis. I'm looking forward to doing more coin analysis in the future. And if you guys really like this content, please hit the like or subscribe button. You can always make any comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.